Hey guys, welcome to this video preparation series for the MO200 Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Associate 2019 exam. In this video, we will cover the first two objectives, import data from TXT files as well as from CSV files. Before we start, as always, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content. And now let's begin. So we will do it both ways. Firstly, we'll import the data into a new workbook. Then we'll import the data into a new worksheet, let's say. So let's begin. We go to the file tab, click open, browse, make sure that all files are displayed and select your txt file in this case before i do that i just quickly want to show you the structure of this file so it has two columns like column header and some values and everything is separated uh, with a tab so that's for your information and we'll import this file and when we do that Excel launches the text import wizard that guides us through the process of importing a new file. In the first step, we have to choose whether our file is delimited or we want to separate, let's say, the columns at a fixed like or character number. So we'll choose the delimited option because our file is delimited with tabs. We'll start at row one and make sure to select that in our case, my data has headers. Let's go to the second step where we specify our delimiter and it correctly recognizes that it is a tab. You can also select others like sem semicolon, comma, space, or your own. Let's go to next. And here you can actually like set data type for each of your columns, but in our case, we'll leave it as general. So let's click finish. And as you can see, Excel correctly paste it our, and important our data into a new workbook and as you can see the file the name of this workbook is the same as the name of our file okay so great let's return to our previous workbook perfect and let's import the data into a new worksheet in this within this workbook so we go to the data tab and you can either click here or go get data from file from text CSV so it takes a while we select our file it processes our file and the difference when you do it this way is that now the file will stay connected with our Excel worksheet or workbook. And when we make changes to this file and then reopen the workbook, the changes will be applied. So these files are now interconnected, let's say. And as you can see, it correctly recognizes our data and it knows that it is delimited with a tab. Then there are two options. You can either load it into a new workbook or choose more options. And we'll import that into existing or new worksheet within this workbook and we'll import it as a table. So let's click OK. So it loads the data and that's it. Perfect. And concerning CSV, the process is completely the same, just CSV is comma separated values file and the delimiter in this case would be a comma. 
So yeah guys, thanks for watching, I hope you find it useful, if so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!